Good evening, everyone. It is me, your pal in the mainstream media, and welcome to another exciting episode of your favorite new show, Talking Mayhem Mania. Um, it's it's just you and me now. We're all alone. Just this special time together. Um, except for me. Oh, and Mad Mike in New York. Somewhere in New York, wherever. Hi, Mike. Hi. Um, I, I'm going to be honest, Matt. Um, I don't watch this show when I'm not on it, so I don't know if you've changed the format. Oh, no. But it's, it's, I know this is still the hottest damn show on the internet. It is the hottest new show on the internet. Three or four years running. Um, <laughs> well, what can I say, Mike? It's been another thrilling week on Mayhem Mania. We had, a, I would say we had probably the most hurt feelings week yet. Would you agree? Um, I mean, my feelings weren't necessarily hurt so much. Well, you weren't playing this week. You were merely yeah, watching. Yeah, but my match still got eliminated. Well, that happens. That's the collateral damage of no, I know, being part I, but, of Mayhem but Mania. See, 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 Matt, when my feelings don't get hurt, I don't care about others. <laughs> That's right. Um, well, let's, um, <laughs> let's take a look at the matches that we have here and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll talk about what happened this week. Ricochet versus Tyler Bate versus Cesaro versus Dean Ambrose, created by Dave Podner. Elias versus Velveteen Dream. I have to be careful. Um, by the way, created by Sorgatron. I have to be careful, Mad Mike, because I don't know if you've noticed this on WWE television. He is not the Velveteen Dream. He is just Velveteen Dream. Have you noticed this? Um, Matt? Yeah. Remember your audience. I know. Yeah. So you know. <laughs> it's just so I'm I'm trying to break this habit. Velveteen okay. dream. Yeah, no, no. They they don't there there are many um things that do not have personal articles. The only thing uh, the only uh, entities in WWE that I know do are the Ascension and the Bar. Oh, really? That's it, huh? Yep. Wow, okay. Lot a lot of a lot of indefinite articles have been uh deleted. I'm pretty sure that's Matt Hardy's doing. Great. I, I will henceforth refer to Velveteen Dream as the indefinite article Velveteen Dream. <laughs> <laughs> Moving I on. Like it. EC3 I like it. versus Triple H created by the Riz. You know, uh, your boy, your boy Riz, my pal, my buddy. Uh, uh you know, he was throwing shade on us for like two or three weeks then he came in with this all right good on you buddy i'm, I'm gonna say it's hot garbage it's, i'm it, gonna say it's hot garbage it, it, because because it, because if you're gonna throw triple h into any match you throw triple h against Brecky, becky lynch well i mean yeah that's, and I'm, technically matt matt i i need a ruling triple h is injured he'll, he'll be not right medically cleared to wrestle he'll, he'll, he'll be ready for me no he should not have been allowed he, he bumped tonight. I, I, he'll, he'll be ready he for me. He took Mania. a punch. He didn't bump. You know what? You had your chance to speak up and you didn't. So I no, I the, the chat room was muted. Oh well, sorry. Well, you had your chance. You could have you could have screamed into the <laughs> chat room. We would have listened to you. I wouldn't have ignored you. Maybe. <sighs> all right. Uh, all right. But, you know, I think Triple H will be okay for Mania. So I, I don't will think let this. Will. I think he'll be okay. Um, I'll, I'll bet you a loony or a toony. That he will have a match at Mania. I'll, I'll take that bet. I think I have a loony or a toony somewhere. I'll bet you a loony and a toony. All right, fine. I, I, I was in Niagara Falls earlier, uh, late last year. I'll, I'll see if I have a loony or a toony available. Two dollars Canadian. Anyone who gets that reference, <laughs> you can see us later. Um, uh, Becky, WrestleMania twenty oh, build jokes. Good times, yes. Becky Lynch versus Rhea Ripley, created by Larry Mustafa <laughs> Ali versus DJ Z. Created by Alex Cars. Good one there. Chelsea Green versus Nikki Cross. Created by Brandon. Drew McIntyre versus Walter versus Samoa Joe. Created by Ty Cross. And finally, Seth Rollins versus Charlotte Flair. Char Char. Created by Marcus Mann. So we've got our intergender match on here. Uh, I like. I like Rollins versus Charlotte. I think that's pretty good. Um, I also want to mention here that um, uh, the Riz wanted to use a subtract move that does not currently exist in Mayhem Mania, but since there was a lot of buzzing around this three-way match, and I could tell that's what 
the people want. Uh, next week, uh, we will introduce the one use only subtract option uh, and give people an, op- an option to use that uh, as some of our matches are starting to build. So next week, Sorgi, the one time use only subtract move will be in play starting next week here on Mayhem Mania. Very exciting. Uh, Mike, um, anything else you want to chime in on on any of these fine matches that are lined up um, here? The card looks like hot garbage. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, I'm not gonna lie. Like there, there's there's a lot of things I would I would change on there. Mm-hmm. A whole bunch of things. Um, I um I you know Marcus is sad that we do not have any current champions on our card, and, and that's something I would have changed. To be honest, I I would have taken some current champions and put them on the card. Yeah, our truth. I I would have. Yeah, but um, alas, here? here we sit. Um, Indeed, but see, Marcus also lamented that there were no current champions on there. Yet he did not put a current champion on himself. That's so true. that's really on him. It is. Well, I mean, he did this. So, um, so, so anyway, uh, Mad Mike. Now that it's just the two of us here together, I wanted to take this moment to uh, remind everyone that the first ever Wrestling Mayhem Show documentary <laughs> dropped <laughs> earlier. Dropped last week, and it is all about the week that you and me and my wife shared in New Orleans just over, just less than a year ago for WrestleMania. What a fine time we had, and what a great documentary. What a fantastic job Sorgatron did helping to put this together. What fine editing, what wonderful music he he brought in. It's fantastic. Uh, Tuesday is my day off is now my favorite song. And... um, (laughs) Uh, I just wanted to know, Mike, uh, now that you've had a chance to see it, do you feel like it ca- properly captured the vibe of the uh, of the week for that we spent down there? Um, I feel like I should have taken a camera, like a video camera with me when I went to explore Bourbon Street, uh-huh. um, where I saw um, uh, Good Brother, Good Brother Gallows hitting on various women mm-hmm. in, in several bars, uh, where I saw Kevin Nash on a rooftop. Yeah, I feel like I, I feel like I should have documented the uh, the the actual hardcore match that happened on Bourbon Street that I saw. Yeah. Well, but, I mean, um, I, I other mean, than that, I feel like uh, we're we're all pretty accurately represented, except for the um, the distressing drama over an iPad Mini. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's a there's a fine story that I, can I tell this story for everyone? It's a really great story. Um. Can I, are you okay with me telling this? Can I tell this? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. This is a great story, Sorg. One of my all-time favorite Mad Mike stories. As long as Missy's okay with it. Uh, she's not here to complain. So we, oh, are, yeah, well, we, 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 are, we are trying to get into, what, Monday Night Raw? Uh, it was SmackDown at that point. Oh, was it? Okay. I'm pretty sure. So, um, maybe it, it was Raw. Maybe it was Raw. Maybe it was SmackDown. I don't know. So anyway, uh, the, the point is um, we were getting ready to go into the smoother, and um, we're going through um, security and... Uh, for some reason, the security decided that on this night they were going to stop you from taking your iPad Mini into the into the smoother with you. And uh, I got to meet Sorg. I don't know if you're familiar with. We know Mad Mike, but there's another Mike inside mm-hmm. of Mad Mike, Brooklyn Mike. Okay, yeah. and and Brooklyn Mike came out, and uh, he was having none of this shit. <laughs> and I got to watch what proceeded to be about a ten minute standoff between Mike and the uh, and the security at the smoother over whether or not he should be allowed to bring his iPad mini in. And, and you know, man, Mike, he was making many uh, cogent and, uh, and and many, many cogent and, uh, you know, well-informed takes and uh, it would seem to be making a good argument. But, you know, the security wasn't going to let him in. So, um, you know, I, I figured, you know, you know, let's just, uh, you know, you, you know me, Sork, you know, I'm, I'm just like, yeah, let's, let's, let's avoid this conflict. And I'm um, just like, you know, Mike, just, just go, you know, you know, run, you know, hotel's only a 10 minute walk, you know, run down there. You know, you'll still make it back in time for the show. Here's the ticket. You know, we'll come back. We'll see you later. Okay, good, good, good. We all, we go our separate ways. The wife and I go into the smoother. We go up an escalator. <laughs> I round a corner. Next thing I know, I hear someone singing Ember Moon's theme song. That's a whole other running joke. I turn around. Mad Mike is in the arena with me. How the hell did this happen? Well, 
Mike, you, Mike had just simply walked over. To, first of all, he sold it so good he worked me. Okay, he worked everybody. <laughs> he worked the boys. He worked me. And then he just wandered off. And then he just went through a different security line and just managed to avoid the whole topic altogether. Well, I, I also the way I was able to evade security this time was because I said, oh, no, it's just an e-reader. Yeah. That's the magic word, Sorg. E-reader. Get you into Apparently. Any, it opens all doors. Um, yeah, so that, that was a great story about Mad Mike getting over on the security at the Smoother in New Orleans. So, But, uh, you know, it was, uh, what can I say? It was a great week. Um, I can't imagine, I mean, I mean, WrestleMania is up in New Jersey this year. And uh, I, I can't feel compelled at all to even think about going up there because I can't imagine a better setup than what was in New Orleans. Like we just walked everywhere. Yeah, everything was you know within range of our hotel. It was just it was ideal. It was wonderful. There'll be another WrestleMania in New Orleans. I will go back. I, I will try to go back if they ever go back to New Orleans because it was awesome. Well, I'm taking I, you with me next time, Sorgi. We got to I mean, go. I'm going to WrestleMania this year, so... <laughs> Well, I mean, you enjoy that subway rides and whatever the point. I, I will. Is. I'm going to Mania. I'm going to go to Access. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to a bunch of things. I think that'll be fantastic. Well, take your camera with you. Go ahead and document that, and uh, maybe we'll have maybe we'll, let's make another movie, Sorg. Why not? <laughs> Sorg. <laughs> Poor Sorg. He just look like he just I like do that to Sorg, get me man. the hell out of here. Anyway, you can check that out. It's up on the uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show YouTube page. You should be able to find it. You are watching this show on it, after all. Uh, so. Uh, I think that just about wraps up. Is there anything else we should talk about? No. Anyway, um, check Kenny out. Kenny Omega. No, I don't want to talk about it anymore. We'll see where we are next week with Kenny Omega. <laughs> Give us a week. <laughs> week by week basis. We'll revisit the Kenny Omega situation next week. Go to WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Get caught up on all the fun. Let us know which matches you think suck. What we think we need to get on this card. Feedback. Always welcome. Thanks for joining Mayhem Mania. Good night. Stay mayhemy. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.